Hey everybody, this is Mitch here at the Corsair Suite, CES 2020, and today I've got the A500 air cooler. This is the first air cooler the Corsair's made in eight years. So we're pretty excited about this. It's a high performance air cooler that comes in and competes against some of the best in class. Performance is exceptional. You'll see it's a four heat pipe uh, construction, six millimeter heat pipes on the outside, eight millimeter heat pipes on the inside. So this is gonna help you at low loads with these two. These will heat up pretty quickly and start working. Uh, take care of the kind of brunt of the cooling at these lower 5%, 10% loads. Once you start pumping more wattage through it, these eight millimeters are gonna kick on. It's really gonna help you cool down those processors, things like you know Ryzen 3, um, anything like that. In addition to the performance, we've taken a look at the uh, installation process. Right, typically, when you're installing coolers, you have to deal with these wire brackets, uh, rubber nubs, things like that, that you slice your finger on, you bend them. Once you bend them, they're always bent, right? They're never the same. So here we have our slide lock fan mount. You have 12 steps to move the fan up and down, just in case you have high profile RAM, things like a high profile IO shield, like you see on some of these newer ASUS boards, things like that, that have displays. Uh, so you never have to worry. Also works with both sides. So if you're running this on uh, some sort of high-end desktop solution that has memory on both sides of the uh, heatsink, you don't have to worry about height either, right? When these are seated all the way down, you have about 45 millimeters of clearance. So that's a little more clearance than some of the other competitor coolers on the market. Usually you see they're like 39 millimeter, 35 millimeter worth of clearance. Dieses Video wird euch von den Seagate Iron Wolf NAS SSDs präsentiert. News und Testberichte zu Seagate Produkten findet ihr unter dem Link in der Infokarte. If you want to make installation a little easier, you can slide the fans off and it's very easy to handle. Much easier than some of the larger um, high-end desktop coolers, right? For installation, you just use the included screwdriver Slot it in the uh, cavity here in the middle, and then you can install it with two screws. Pretty easy. All of the retention is very similar to our liquid coolers, so it uses a standoff solution. You just have the four standoffs on the board with a back plate, and then use the included mounting bracket to secure to these two screws. Right now, the A500 doesn't come with any RGB LEDs or anything like that, but you can easily swap the fans, so if you want to go and purchase some QL fans, things like that, it actually creates a pretty cool effect where you can see the bands here along the top, thanks to the open fan caddy. The A500 is gonna cool processors up to 250 watt TDP. We could cool larger processors with this, but unfortunately, you know, the cold plate area is pretty small when you were to, if you were to mount it to a Threadripper, so we went ahead and opted to not support Threadripper. For the best Threadripper experience, we suggest you use one of our Pro XT or Platinum coolers. And the A500, it's going to be 99 US, available end of January at a retailer near you. Thank you.